hasn't rained in these parts since July. Made up for it this morning. Welcome along to Saturday, north of Milan in Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. And it's going to be the first wet Italian Grand Prix session since Sebastian Vettel took pole for Toro Rosso back in 2008. It's just cars appearing from out of the spray and out of the gloom, including that man there who in 2008, set pole position in conditions very similar to this that we are fearing oh, today. Off. And somebody is off and into the barriers. And I wonder if that wasn't one of the Hasses. Grosjean or Magnussen, they have red flagged the session. It was Grosjean. Let's have a look on board with Grosjean now. He's in the tracks and he's slightly left of the tracks. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was the second application of the throttle. He tried to... He got up on top of the water. It was stupid to lose record. Sorry, it was stupid. Patience is rewarded. The light goes green and we can get out onto the track once again. The fans in the grandstand cheering and voicing their approval. In fact, the only one that says uh, wet tyres stop on Van Dorn at the moment. Oh. That's the Kimi. Oh, they had to release him because his front left uh, brakes on fire. You, you can send me straight into the side of the car. It was a mistake. I just managed to mistake. make The front left caliper was on fire. We wanted to get the fire out with the air. So, Joe, there was a checkered flag. P16, unfortunately. Ah, damn it. Uh, that's one way uh, of uh, putting it. Magnussen crosses the line and he's now P16. Jolian Palmer drops down to 17th as Valtteri Bottas goes fastest. Kevin Magnussen out in the first part of qualifying along with his teammate Roman Grosjean. So Haas, who lost a car in Q1 for eight out of 12 races, now make it nine out of 13 races. Felipe Massa currently 12th fastest and crosses the line eighth, which pushes, pushes Stoffel van Dorn down into 11th. Hamilton, I'm sure, would love to go a little bit faster out in front and does so. First man into the 134s by extending uh, his time by another six tenths of a second. Stoffel van Dorn coming to the end of this lap. He too could complete this and get himself into the top ten. He's put in a personal best for the middle sector. Amazing how much grip he found on the paint of the curbs. Van Dorn does indeed go ninth. He does. And Sergio Perez out and his teammate Esteban Ocon could join him as well. I don't know what's going on on Inters, but it's pretty terrible. Yeah, Hulkenberg not enjoying it. Kriak crosses the line. Only 14th fastest for Danny Kriak, which saves Esteban Ocon. He goes through into Q3. His teammate uh, Perez is out, along with the former Force India driver Nico Hulkenberg. Fernando Alonso, who's got massive grip penalties anyway. Danny Kriak and Carlos Sainz, who has a grip penalty, but the two Toro Rossos not really come alive on the Inters. Not today. Now there's a scrap for track position between the inter shod Ferrari and the full wets on the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Is he going to sail one up the inside? Thinks better of it. And this is about keeping tyres up to temperature. He's got a good run out of... It's almost like a race, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is a race, really. It a is race for track oh. position. He almost has Vettel onto the grass. <laughs> That'll go down well. And they'll be cheering, I'm sure, as he crosses the line down at Red Bull, because this is the fastest lap in qualifying this afternoon. 136.7 for Max Verstappen. On board now with Lance Stroll, who, unlike Verstappen, could, if this is the lap of all laps, become the youngest pole sitter ever here this afternoon. Crosses the line and goes third fastest. That is an excellent effort from Lance Stroll, whose mum is absolutely delighted in the garage, and so she should be. So a front row start position for Stroll at the moment. That's a net second after penalties. Verstappen and Ricardo both taking penalties. And Ricardo crosses the line to put his Red Bull on what would be the front row, but they're both going to start way, way down. Hamilton is on provisional pole. Bottas has had a bad middle sector. Bottas down in sixth is not on a great lap. Hamilton would love to get pole out right, though, as he crosses the line now. It's the record for Lewis Hamilton. 69 poles in Formula One. Michael Schumacher's record goes here at Monza this afternoon. Hamilton, with his 69th pole, will lead them away 
in the Italian Grand Prix. Mercedes can't make it a 50th front row lockout. They do get the 150th front row start. Valtteri Bottas down in sixth fastest. And whilst he'll be disappointed at Ferrari, they will be absolutely gutted because Raikkonen only seventh, Vettel only eighth. Stroll splits the Ferraris. He starts on the front row of the grid after Red Bull take their engine penalties. And a sixth pole position here at Monza as well for Lewis Hamilton, surpassing Juan Manuel Fangio and Ayrton Senna's record of five poles here. It was a long time coming. <laughs> Worth waiting for, though, wasn't it? Something in the show. Well.